Hello, friends. Pastor Dan here. On behalf of the staff and the elders of the Granville Chapel, we are excited to welcome you to in-person services on June 7th. Now, we understand that not everyone is ready or able to come back to in-person services, and we certainly respect and appreciate your decision to do so. We hope that you continue to use our virtual services, which will be available online every Sunday morning as they have been. But for those of you who are planning to come, we have put together this video to help you and your family prepare for what to expect when you arrive here at the church. Before you come to church, a dedicated team of volunteers will be preparing the building for your arrival. Immediately following the dismissal of New Hope Lutheran's morning service, cleaners will get right to work disinfecting surfaces in high traffic areas such as the foyer, the sanctuary, bathrooms, and in overflow areas like the cry room, nursery, and fellowship hall. We also ask those of you who decide to attend to make some preparations as well. Take your temperature before leaving your home. Is it greater than 100 degrees? Are you exhibiting any other signs of illness? Have you been asked by a medical professional to quarantine? If your answer is yes, please stay home. We ask that you start arriving for church as early as 10.45 a.m. This will give us plenty of time to greet you and get you seated before the service starts. As you approach the entrance, a greeter will be waiting to welcome you and answer any questions that you might have. You will notice volunteers wearing masks. They are doing so for your protection. We recommend that you also wear a mask, but it is not mandatory. Volunteers will also make frequent use of hand sanitizer. You are welcome to do so as well. You will find it in several locations throughout the church. Once inside, you will proceed toward the sanctuary through the foyer. There will be a limited number of printed bulletins available on the welcome table. We kindly ask that you print your own at home or use your mobile device or tablet to pull one up. Please practice physical distancing while waiting for an usher to escort you to your seat. Seating is made available at designated spaces in every other pew of the sanctuary. Pews not available will be closed off accordingly. We kindly ask that you sit on either end of the pew, leaving plenty of space between yourself and those who might sit on the other end. If you have small children, please remind them of our physical distancing protocols. You're also welcome to bring age-appropriate activities for them as needed. We know that you're excited to see all of your brothers and sisters in Christ, but please refrain from shaking hands, hugging, giving high fives, or other forms of physical contact. Get creative. If we run out of room in the sanctuary, you may be directed to sit in the overflow area located downstairs in the fellowship hall. Though video is not available, we are able to offer audio of the service. If you are attending with your small children, the cry room and the nursery are available with audio for your use. If you prefer, you may remain in your car and listen to the audio by tuning in to 87.9 on your FM radio. When the worship service begins, you will notice that much of it is exactly the same as it always has been. We'll sing together, we'll pray together, we'll read the scriptures together, we'll hear the word preached, and we will celebrate the sacrament together. There will be some changes though. There will be no passing of the offering plates during the service. Instead, there will be a contribution box made available at the entrance to the sanctuary. As we resume offering the Lord's Supper, it will look different than it has in the past. We will be using prepackaged communion kits. Each one is individually sealed and contains both juice and a wafer. There are also gluten-free options. When the time for communion is at hand, I will fence the table and pray. I will then put on a mask and cleanse my hands with hand sanitizer. You will come forward along the center aisle by family where you will receive the elements from me or another elder. Please observe appropriate physical distancing. Those in the overflow or nursery area will also be welcome to come. You will then proceed down the far aisle and back to your seat. 
When you return to your seat, you can prepare your elements by removing the wafer from the top of the kit and then opening the second seal to access the juice. Once everyone has returned to their seats, I will lead the congregation in partaking of the elements all together. You are kindly asked to dispose of your own used kits in the container provided as you leave the service. After I proclaim the benediction, you will be dismissed in such a way that allows for appropriate physical distancing. The ushers will systematically dismiss you by row. We kindly ask that you exit the building immediately and not hang around in either the sanctuary, the foyer, or anywhere else in the building. You're welcome to gather in groups for fellowship at your discretion in the parking lot. Again, we are really excited to welcome you back to the chapel this Sunday. Should you have any questions about anything in this video, anything you've seen or heard, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, to one of the staff members, or to one of the elders. We'd be happy to speak with you. God bless you, and we'll see you Sunday morning.